All right, what is up guys? It's Ivan from BrainAbus.com. Uh, today I'm going to look at a way to control a stepper motor with an Arduino. Now I've done a lot of tutorials on how to control stepper motors and for some reason I always used the Easy Driver. And that's not the only one you can use. There's a bunch of them out there. And the one we're going to look at today is a very simple and very affordable L298N. With this board you can control up to two DC motors or one stepper motor. Now there's some pros and cons, so we're gonna look at that. First, let me go show you the setup, how it will work, and then we'll look at the code, and then we'll come back. So let's go check that out. All right, so before anybody starts freaking out, the L298 is really not the best way to drive a stepper motor. Uh, there's a lot of bad things about this guy compared to the Easy Driver. Now, the first thing, at first glance, you can see this one comes with a big heat sink already pre-installed on it. And you could say, well, that's great. The Easy Driver doesn't have that. Well, there's a reason why there's a heat sink here. It's because the L298 is really not power efficient at all. And a lot of the power is converted to heat. And that's why it needs a big heat sink like this. The Easy Driver, more power efficient, doesn't need one. Although you should still install one because it does get very hot. Now, another bad thing about the uh, L298 is that it can't regulate the power output. So basically, you connect a motor, the motor is going to ask for full power, and this guy is going to provide it. There's no way to adjust the power here. On the Easy Driver, you can see there's a little pot here, and you can adjust this to limit the current that's going to go to your motor. And that has the advantage of reducing the overheating of the, of the motor itself. Now the L298 doesn't have that, so the motor and the chip itself will get very hot if you leave it on for a long period of time. Uh, so for some project, it's not too bad, but for others, then the Easy Driver is a better way to go. Now the other thing too is that the ratings uh, for each one of these drivers. This one, if you look at the data sheet, it says up to 750 milliamps per phase. Now this is a two-phase motor, so it can go up to 1.5 amps although you would need an heat sink on this one. This one, if you look at the data sheet, it says up to two amps per phase or four amps. You will never get close to that. The chip will actually shut down by overheating when you get to about 600 milliamps or something like that. So on paper, it looks like it could drive bigger motors, but in reality, it's not much better than the easy driver. So with all that said, is this really a good option? Yes and no, this is very cheap. You can get these for like a buck 50 and an easy driver, maybe five bucks. Uh, but we're gonna see why this one might be um, a good choice depending on the project that you're gonna use. Uh, for the example uh, we're gonna see today, um, when I drive the motor and it's not moving, I actually disconnect the power so it doesn't overheat the motor or the chip itself. Uh, but for some project, you might need to leave it on so you have like that holding power that the uh, motor can't move. So then the Easy Driver would be a better one. But like I said, it, there's more than the Easy Driver available, and I'm going to look at some of them in future tutorials. There's a bunch of them. I'm going to look at the more popular ones. So, yeah, so for some project, you could use this. It's cheap, it's easy to connect, and we're going to see that as well. Uh, but in reality, this is not the best way to go. Now, if you look at the boards themselves, this one's a little bit bigger, of course. But this one, when you buy it, most of the time, these little pins are not soldered on. So that's one thing that you'll need to do. Another thing, when you buy this one, everything is like you see it here. It's already ready to go. Now, also, the Easy Driver is mostly made to be used on a PCB or a breadboard like this. So that's one thing. The L298, it has those great screw terminals that you connect the stepper motor wires and the Arduino pins here are already, everything is ready to go. So that's a big plus. Now, of course, the Easy Driver has more capabilities. If you talk about stepping, the L298 can only do, theoretically, full steps. You could always, you know, do something with the code or doing a code, but it's not easy. So full steps only. So in most stepper motors, that equals to 200 steps per revolution. The Easy Driver, on the other hand, can do full steps, of course, half, quarter, and one-eighth of a step, which equals to 1,600 steps per revolution. Now, that makes more precision and a lot smoother rotation as well. So you can't do that here. But like I said, for some projects, this is actually enough. And the ease of use and ready to go out of the box, this is not a bad option. 
All right, sorry guys, I just forgot to mention one thing while I was doing the video, so I'm gonna mention it here. Uh, one big thing about the difference between these two guys, the L298 needs a minimum of four pins from an Arduino to function, and the Easy Driver, you can actually get away with only using two pins, one for the step and one for the direction. Now, of course, if you wanna use the enable pins and change the type of stepping, you will need more pins, but at a minimum, you can use two here. So if your project is running out of pins, maybe the Easy Driver is a better choice, but if you have enough available, then just keep in mind that the L298 will actually need four pins to function. So there you go, just wanted to mention that, so let's go back. Okay, so now what I'm gonna show today, I have a stepper motor here, right there, with a belt, and I'm gonna use an analog slider to actually move the stepper one way, and the more I push, it will go faster. And when I go back to the middle, it'll stop, and then it will go back. Now one cool thing, and the Easy Driver has this too, I can power the Arduino using the L298. This is my 12 volt input. It will go to power the L298. And the L298 has a five volt output that I'm using here on the Arduino to power it using that. So I only need one power supply. So there you go guys, that's what we're gonna do today. Let me get rid of this guy. And in future tutorials, I'm gonna look at shields like uh, this shield here uh, that has four stepper motor capabilities. So we're gonna look at that. That's another option, a little bit more expensive more involved. So now let's go see the code and then we're going to come back and test it all out. All right, so let's have a look at the code we're going to use today. Uh, we're including, of course, the Excel stepper library. We've used that one many times before in other tutorials. It does work with the L298 driver that we're using today. Uh, then we're defining the stepper driver type uh, to four for four wires. That's the stepper motor we're using. And then we're defining the Excel stepper library using that information here. And the pins 8, 9, 10, and 11 on the UNO are connected to the OUT 1, 2, 3, and 4 on the L298. Then we're defining the slider pin, the uh, an analog slider that we saw. Uh, that's on pin A0 on the UNO. Then we have some variables here, the value of the slider at the, at the moment. Then we have the stepper speed and stepper direction, which will be calculated depending on the analog slider value here. And then we have the main setup, very easy. Stepper direction is equal to the stepper dot current position. That's an Excel stepper command. Uh, the current position at the beginning is zero. So I could have said equals zero, uh, but I wanted to use the actual command of the Excel stepper library. And then we get to the main loop. So um, the slider value will be equal to the analog read of the analog slider. And then I check which value that is. And if the first one is greater than 575, which means I'm moving to the right, then I'm mapping that value to a speed of one to 200. So the more I'm pushing the analog slider to the right, the faster the stepper motor will move to the right. And then the stepper direction is equal to minus minus. So it was zero at the beginning, so minus minus, it will now be minus one. That means in the Excel stepper library, move to the right. Uh, then I check if that's not true, then I check if it's smaller than 350. Then I map that value for the speed, but this time the direction is plus plus. So if it was zero at the beginning, then it becomes one. So that means it moves to the left. Else, I'm in the middle of the analog slider. So I set the speed at zero and I disable the outputs. Uh, that will have an effect that the L298 will not provide power to the stepper motor if nothing is happening. That way it will not uh, create heat uh, when the stepper is not moving. Uh, then once this has been done, then I'm moving the stepper to stepper direction. Stepper direction is plus plus or minus minus. So if it was zero, then it has to move to minus one. Uh, the stepper speed is set and the max speed, I have to use this to have the Excel stepper actually move at the correct speed. Uh, then while the stepper distance to go is not equal to zero, that means we're giving time for Excel stepper library to actually reach the destination. That's why we're using a while statement. Uh, if we didn't use that, we could move the analog slider back and forth and the Excel stepper would need to catch up every time because it hasn't reached the destination yet. So that's why we're using a while loop here. Uh, then we're, st we're enabling the outputs, meaning turning on the L298 and we're run speed to that new position. 
and it will do this while until it reaches that position and that's it so then it goes back here reads the analog and does it all over again so there you go that's the whole code so now i'm going to upload that and let's go test it out all right so i uploaded the code to the uno right here i'm going to give power to the 298 right there and this one will power the Arduino at the same time. I'm using a 12 volt, 1.5 amp power supply uh, because my motor here is only a 750 milliamp motor. So there we go, I'm powered, the L298 is lit, the Uno is getting power, my little slider is in the middle. So I'm gonna start moving it to the left very slowly. And there we go. I'm gonna go a little bit faster. All the way, whoop, come back. I'm gonna go the other way, very slowly again. Now, I don't know if you can hear that. Since it's only 200 steps, you can hear a click because it's steps or full steps. But if you go a little bit faster, that smooths out a little bit and I can go all the way. If I want to stop, just back in the middle. So the control is, is working very well. I can go very fast, go slow, stop, and on the other side. So as you saw in the code, I'm disabling the outputs. So it's not getting too hot and my motor is not getting overheated. And that means when I'm not moving like this, I can move, it's not locked. So if you wanna lock it, you need to remove that line in the code. So there you go guys. So let's go back to the main camera and wrap things up and see what's coming up next. Hopefully you found this interesting. Of course, the L298 is a pretty old board. It's not very power efficient, uh, but for some project, it, will, it could do just fine. Uh, there's other options out there. In uh, future tutorials, I'm going to be looking at different ways to control stepper motors and different driver boards. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Uh, like I always say, if you like my videos, please subscribe. I also have more information on my website for most of my tutorials. If you want the code, the connection diagram and all that, I invite you guys to check that out. So that'll do it for today, guys. Uh, as always, my name is Ivan, and I hope to catch you guys real soon. Take care.